We're going to demonstrate the RAD Studio PA Server Docker container right now. So first I'm going to SSH into the server here. So I'm going to type in the IP address and, and the username of root and SSH in the server. I'm going to enter my password. And then I'm going to run sudo apt update to update the system. And then after that I'm going to run sudo apt install docker. And so that's going to in install the docker files that you need to, to run docker images. And so that's installing right now. And now I'm going to run docker pull rad studio PA server. And that's going to download the, the PA server docker image container. And so now I'm going to run it, the, the PA server docker image container in foreground mode and you can see here that's going to be listening on port 64211. It's also going to open up the port 8082 which is the port that Broadway D is going to be running on. And Broadway D allows us to view HTML5 applications from Rad Studio. So now I'm going to switch over here to Rad Studio. I'm going to run this application here and it's going to deploy this this FireMonkey application to the Linux machine and then it's going to load it up on the HTML5 Broadway D server and we're going to view it in the web browser. So this is a cross-platform application runs on multiple devices like Linux and Windows and you can see that it's a master detail application it's from the the samples in Rad Studio. And so then we're going to bring up the web browser over here and this is deploying directly from the Rad Studio IDE up to the Docker image that we just started running PA server. All right, so deployment is complete, and now you can see here is our Delphi Linux application compiled in Rad Studio and deployed to our Docker image and visible in a web browser.